Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And you may or may not be aware that the amazing Don Sibley has done some brilliant work bringing over the Daisy PC expansion mods map changes uh, to Chernus and Livonia to console. Um, there, and that is what you're seeing here. Well, a tiny, tiny part of it. This is at the petrol station by the church on uh, Chernarus at uh, Chernogorsk. And there's this massive um, queue of uh, wrecked cars that are queuing up probably to uh, access the, the petrol station. So we've got all these custom cars, we've got all this custom grass, and it is absolutely fantastic. However, if you are running uh, last gen consoles like PS4s and Xbox uh, Ones, you're really going to have to choose which files that, that you want to install. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to give you the um, code snippets that you require for your CFG gameplay.json, so the object spawn array um, files. Um, so that you can install it and I'm also going to go through the files that you could probably be able to install and maybe how you can uh, work out which files you can fit onto your server as well however I do need your help with this because I've got an Xbox uh, Series S which is what you're seeing now this gameplay and a PlayStation 4 so I've been able to do some testing on that and obviously PC as well but I haven't been able to do any testing on Xbox Ones or PlayStation 5s to see what the limits are on those. Okay, so let me just come out of here and then we'll jump in and i kind of show you what I've done. So in the uh, description below this video, you'll see a link to Don's video about this amazing work he's done. And you'll find a link to the Daisy expansion mod just on Steam. So if you want to have a look at it and check it out, it's, um, it's pretty cool. Ooh, let's just... Uh, make that bigger um, and then you'll also find a link to Don's github now this is where you click on there and you download it and you can download all of the uh, uh, JSON files the custom JSON files that you'll be uploading to your custom folder on your um, console nitrido server to, to make these files spawn in um, and you'll also find a link to my github and uh, a particular part of it, which is um, this rather badly spelled bit here, that, <laughs> that details the code snippets that you can use to install them. So what I've done is if we scroll down a bit, it kind of becomes, it kind of makes sense when you see what we're doing. So in your CFG gameplay.json file, um, here we go, let's have a look at it, you know, which looks something like this, you've got the object spawn array. So when you want to call on Don's files to make them spawn in, you need to know what all these are. So the, the I guess the first useful bit about um, this particular file is that I have uh, listed all of those. Now what I've done is it actually starts off with his interior files. So I've listed all the interior files. So if you want to in, um, download and install the interior files, that's the... Uh, object spawn array that you would use the line now I also discovered that the object spawn array command you can actually do it in that vertical format there which is a little bit more useful you can actually see what you're meant to be doing and that will then spawn in the interiors now I've only tested this on uh, my Xbox Series S and if you use them by themselves they seem to spawn in fine and they're cool but I'm kind of more interested in the exterior so if we scroll down a little bit more uh, we'll see these now at the moment at the time I'm recording this video at the beginning of July 2023 in order to spawn many things in uh, correctly they need to have an offset to their coordinates and that's why you'll see all these files that say with offsets if by the time you come to watch this video that has been sorted out scroll to the bottom of this file and you'll find the versions without the offsets that are included in Don's github as well so let's go back up to the top again so here we have this first um, uh, object spawn array line. This is all of the custom files. Now I've discovered that this appears to work on an Xbox Series S and the feedback I've had from my, dis my Discord is this works on an Xbox Series X as well. So you can spawn in all of the custom exteriors for the expansion mod conversion and they all seem to be there. 
that there doesn't seem to be a problem on Xbox Series S and Series X next-gen consoles. And this is where I need your help because I need people to check this on PlayStation 5 as well. And what I've done as well is I've changed the order. So I've actually changed the order in this next part where they're actually in size order. Because what I did, um, I did an exercise where on my PlayStation 4, which is having the problems, I needed to, to load up the smaller ones first. So they're all in size order there. Now that may be the best object spawner array line to use on a series, uh, uh, on an Xbox or a PlayStation server, because it means you can load in the most different um, locations, not the biggest files, but the most different locations. And by the time they fail, you'll have loaded a few in. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I found, uh, working on my um, PlayStation server with my PlayStation 4 is that you can't load all of the files um, or probably more accurately the PlayStation can't load all of the files so it'd be very interesting to see for someone who has got a Nitrado community server for Xbox or PlayStation um, if you load all of the custom files and you, with a friend or or a member of your your server, goes to a particular location. One of you has got an Xbox a Series S or X, and one has got an Xbox One, or maybe one has got a PlayStation Five, and another's got a PlayStation Four. Do you get to see everything? Because I think that the problem isn't really with the server. I think the problem is with the console. Because what I found with on my PlayStation Four. If I only loaded these files in, in this order, and it's in the order of the smallest ones first, they would all load in on my PlayStation 4. Um, and I could spawn in and I could see these uh, see these items. If I loaded in any more um, files, or um, so I had, um, for example, we got to Machinko with this one. If I loaded in Chernogorsk Forest and Chernogorsk Forest 2 and Chernogorsk Forest 1, then the Elektrovorsk one, which, um, which I put underneath that for testing purposes, wouldn't spawn in. So for the purposes of PlayStation 4, I've created this object spawn array. So you could put that in. Now that may well be the same for Xbox Ones, but I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure those consoles will probably deal with memory in a different way. So that's where you get the problem of that it's not really the server that's causing the problem because the server is ready to load all these 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 files in but it's the memory on the console in this case the PlayStation 4 that said look I can't load all these custom locations you're only gonna get a few of them then I thought well wait a minute if we know the sizes of these files that could roughly equate to the number of objects they're spawning in so maybe we could use that to work out which files we could we could spawn in now this is a very rough way of doing it but basically the these files they all they add up to 3580 kilobytes okay now i know that doesn't relate to the size of the assets they are spawning in on the server but it's a rough way of maybe working with stuff so what i've also included here as well is all of the files um, with the amount of kilobytes, so the size they are on. So if you think your budget is roughly 3,600 kilobytes on a PlayStation 4, then you could say, okay, well, maybe that means I could have, um, you know, uh, Chernograss 2 um, and then a couple of other files, or I could have um, the Chernograss uh, Enhancement 2, um, and then we could have... What else could we have? Maybe Grass Coast Road, and you could kind of add them up to get to near 3,600 kilobytes. Now, now, this is very, very, uh, it's, it's a very rough way of doing this because really what you'd have to know is the kilobytes, the memory of the assets that are loaded in, and then you could do it more. But I don't think we've really got a way of doing this. But this may be a way that if you think, well, I really want to have Svetla Jask 1 included. Um, in, on my, my server but on my server I do have people using PlayStation 4s and maybe Xbox Ones but remember I haven't been able to test that you know I'm going to be stuck with Svetla Just 1 and Tizzy and Gorka and Kamenka and you're going to add those up and put them in that way so that's why I've, I've included that and that's why I need your help because we're going to have to do a lot more testing with this because it may well even vary from different PlayStation 4s to PlayStation 4 Pros to Xbox Ones to Xbox One S's to Xbox One X's. Um, 
look, there, there could be many, many variations uh, that, that will restrict the amount of memory. Also, it may even depend on what's already on the server. So when you've got a brand new server with not much um, loot on it, or and people haven't been building things on it, you may well be able to fit more custom uh, objects on. We do know there is a physical limit to the num limit to the number of items that the server will spawn in, because um, we kind of learned that with the um, Daisy um, generous overgrown kind of work that that Don did as well, um, because the the creator of that mod came up against the hard limit where they couldn't add any more to it because the server simply just wouldn't spawn any anything else and so that may well affect stuff so it's going to take a lot of um a lot of experimenting probably i think probably the practical way to approach this would be to maybe um cycle through the different jsons on your server especially if you've got people using the older consoles um you know run with the svetlajask um mods on it for for you know a couple of weeks and then take them off and then put the Chernogorsk ones on that sort of stuff so that people can experience these different changes they just won't be able to experience them all at once now also what i've included as well is i've included the without offset files names as well for object spawn array code snippets for when or if daisy sort it out so at the moment certain stuff when you try and spawn it in the coordinates will be wrong um, and it will be floating in the air but don did all this amazing work to to, to create um the offset files but if that get, then gets sorted out i've got the name for this because don in his github repository includes the uh the offset and the non-offset files as well so you'll be able to use those and i've included them included the full length so that you'll be able to spawn them in you know for xbox series x and ps5 and xbox series s um, and then I've included the uh, restricted uh, list, which will probably work on PlayStation 4. I mean, another caveat as well is, again, I've tested this on an Xbox Series S, so I'm assuming that it works on an Xbox Series X. I don't know about PlayStation 5, because I haven't had a chance to uh, test that. And also, the, there could be the problem that as the server um, uh, gets older and older, it could be that you know there becomes too many assets for the console or the server to remember and then you may start having stability issues and things might not spawning start spawning in it might start affecting loot or infected and zombies and all that sort of stuff okay so there we go but well done and amazing work for, from don sibley to create this um conversion can't wait to see what he does next um fingers crossed as well um the uh, ivy may well be sorted out because you can't do the ivy at the moment on console because that um turns out all wrong and i'll do another video when that comes out also don does say he's working on loot for these as well now what he'll then be creating is probably like a map group proto uh, or map group pos files so that when you're uh, in these particular places you know when you see like the car wrecks normally they have loot in them don't they um and then you'll be able to loot those as you go along however if that is the case we will have to be very careful that all of these are spawning in the custom uh, objects because if they don't spawn in and yet we have a map group pass or a map group proto for that particular thing you'll end up with with loot spawning in just just in the midair and that will kind of break immersion a little bit won't it but there we go hopefully you find this useful hopefully you find this file useful for people who want to use uh, don's amazing work and if you do uh, hit like if if you come across and discover what works for you on your server please in the comment section below write down so you know right you know this is on a playstation server on a playstation 5 i've discovered that it all works or i've discovered that uh, i can only spawn in these files or it could be you you know you're running a xbox server with an xbox one and you found that these combination of files work fine please share that so we can share it with the community so we can all make the most of this amazing work so there we go if you enjoyed the video hit like once you're on the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon